last match here at the Royal Rumble was against Y2J in 2002. Yeah, Chris Jericho defeated The Rock that night to retain his undisputed WWE Championship. Yeah, an undisputed WWE Championship that Jericho... by beating both The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin on the same night in December 2001. It has to be considered one of the greatest one-night performances in sports entertainment history. I think this WWE Universe can smell what you're cooking, Rock. Whoa. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Three. And he's heading back in. from CM Punk. Man, if the Shield gets involved in this matchup here tonight, Mr. McMahon has said he will strip CM Punk of the WWE Championship. That's it. He's done. We've heard it many times over the past few weeks. Why would a big... Uh-oh. I think we are about to witness the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. The People's Elbow from The Rock. The championship. Wait a minute. What the? Who the? Who's turning out the? Hey, 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 look, 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 right in front of us. What? Look in front of us. Look in front of us. I can't see anything. They're attacking the rock. Somebody's attacking the rock. Hey, look at, look at. Oh my God. That was the shield. That was the shield. They're right in front of us. They triple power bomb the rock to the announce table. The smirk on CM Punk's face. Yeah, that tells the whole story. Punk had to know what was going on here. The official has no clue what happened. He was inside the ring and so far away from the fray, but King, we saw it play his day. Reigns, Ambrose, and Rollins attacked the Rock and triple power bomb through the announce table. And now, look at CM Punk throwing a helpless Rock back inside the ring. What's what's going to happen now? Well, this oh, is no. ridiculous. No. This is absolutely ridiculous. Talk about robbery. Grand larceny. Oh, and look at Heyman. Well, just when Mr. McMahon was about to strip CM Punk of the title, The Rock said, no, no, no. The Rock... I didn't want that to happen tonight. The Rock wants to be the man to take the title from CM Punk. So the match has been restarted. CM Punk calls this WWE Championship reign his life's work. The Rock calls these 434 days misery. I don't think there's any doubt that if CM Punk can beat The Rock here at the Royal Rumble, he's going to be in the conversation for the best ever. Oh, come on, he already is. I mean, how could he not be? It's been 434 days. How could he not be considered the best in the world? Up over the top and to the floor, he landed with a thud. The last time The Rock was WWE Champion was August 25th, 2002. He lost the title that night to a young Brock Lesnar. And fittingly enough, Brock Lesnar was managed by Paul Heyman at the time. The same man in CM Punk's corner here tonight. Yeah, simply put, Paul Heyman is one of the great... Oh, oh my gosh! The Bronco! Damn it, nailed him! Hey, King, look at Rock. Rock's ready. The Brahma Bull stalking CM Punk. And here he goes. He's got Punk. He's go uh oh He was going for the Rock bottom, but now Punk is fighting out of this. And look at CM Punk hammering the Rock. Rock is stunned. Now for the oh. GTS. Oh, look at this. Uh oh, oh what for the GTS, and what a counter by Rock. And King, Rock stunned the Punk. Look at him the sharpshooter. Are you kidding me? The Rock with the sharpshooter. But wait a minute. Look at CM Punk. He's rolling right through. He's going for the Anaconda Vice. Submission move. Submission move. He's got it locked in, cut it off the air. Oh, he's gonna have to block out the pain if he hopes to escape this. Dear Lord, those lariats can do so much damage. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. Submission locked in, and this might be it. Really going to work here, just wrenching that thing. 
He almost took his head off with that lariat. Oh, look at the emotion. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. He drops the elbow. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, and that one hit with the force of a big rig. Hey, he's going for it. That's it. He's out. Are we about to see the most electrifying move in sports entertainment? Jeez. And this has got to be it. Two, three. The Rock has done it. The 10 year wait is over. The it's Rock is once again the people's champion. Oh, oh, man. The Rock made a promise to the WWE Universe and to himself. And he kept that promise here tonight to win his eighth WWE Championship. The great one, maybe the greatest of all time, has delivered tonight. Oh, man, what an electric moment here tonight at the Royal Rumble. And we are now officially on the road to WrestleMania. Let us remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that CM Punk is not the WWE Champion. This past Monday on Raw, CM Punk stole the title from The Rock. Punk cannot get over the fact that he's no longer champion. Listen, he had a great run, but it's over. Great run? Come on, that was a legendary run. And Paul Heyman, you can make fun of him all you want, but he's one of the greatest managers ever in his own mind.
13,669 WWE fans on their feet to the Brahma Bowl. The People's Champion, the WWE Champion, The Rock. Oh man, the roar of this crowd is absolutely deafening. The challenge. Challenger is CM Punk. He's won three world championships, two WWE championships, tag team titles, the Intercontinental Championship. He's also a two-time money. The Bank winner and the 2011 Superstar of the Year. And of course, across from him is The Rock, an eight-time WWE Champion, two-time World Champion, five-time Tag Team Champion, and winner of the 2000 Royal Rumble. His qualifications are in effect. If the challenger isn't careful, the match could get thrown out. King The Rock is greatness flowing through his veins. Both his father and grandfather are WWE Hall of Famers. You're right about that, Cole. And both men were inducted by the current WWE champion, The Rock, back into 2008 ceremonies in Orlando, Florida. And you would have to think it's only a matter of time before The Rock finds his rightful spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Oh, clothesline! It's back and forth all night. Unbelievable! Boy, he just got laid out. Tonight marks the fourth Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and the fifth time the WWE Championship has been defended here at this event. Of course, the championship was defended twice in 2010. After John Cena won the title in an Elimination Chamber match, he was forced by Mr. McMahon to immediately defend the championship against... It's a big one, King. Rock the champion, Punk the challenger. Oh, Punk slides out of the ring to safety. But remember the stipulations in this matchup. Rock, if he's disqualified or counted out, he'll lose the championship. So no champion's advantage here for The Rock. Yeah, and I'm sure Paul Heyman is reminding CM Punk of that fact right now. The winner of this match punches his ticket to the main event at WrestleMania. Oh, what's, what's Punk doing now? Oh, he just slapped the face of The Rock! Yeah, smart move by Punk infuriating The Rock, remember. Rock blows a gasket here. He gets disqualified. He loses the title. Yeah, watch out. Rock's going to have to be very careful here. And a senior official, Mike Kyoto, doing a good job trying to keep Rock away from Punk, but he's got to warn him. Remind him of that disqualification rule. The Rock all over CM Punk. And I think Pete Punk realized, well, that didn't work. What's next? But he may have Rock off his game. No, you got you got to be kidding me. Oh, you can't blame Rock now. What a low life, and Rock is going to take it out on Punk. See if Punk spins in the face of the Rock. Well, CM Punk is doing everything in his power to get Rock to lose it, to blow a gasket and get himself disqualified and cost him the title. He slapped the Rock's face, and he spit in the Rock's face. He almost took his head off with that lariat. Whoa! Whoa! And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. Oh, a reversal. Oh, 
rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. King, you can relate to what CM Punk is going through right now. In 2011, you were in the same spot at the same event, challenging The Miz for the WWE 